What's up guys? It's Patricia from TarantulaHeaven.com. I have Miss Spidey right here, my Chilean rose hair who appears in all my videos. She is the real star here. And today we're going to talk about tarantula blood, everything you need to know. And this is actually a um, request from one of my subscribers on YouTube. So I hope that this video is really useful to that person. And it's also useful to all of you because a lot of people don't really think about tarantula blood, whether they are an owner or not. So anyway, if you're new here, um, I put out videos about tarantulas every single week. So if you're into that, you can subscribe and also subscribe to my Patreon to get early access to those videos. So tarantulas are such a foreign, confusing animal, especially when you're first getting into the tarantula keeping hobby. So a lot of times um, there's so much to learn about tarantula care and their mannerisms and stuff like that. Their, their feeding, their signals, their body language signals and stuff like that, that um, we can kind of overlook how their bodies actually work. So you should know a little bit of the basics about anatomy, their organs and stuff like that, but you should also know about how their circulatory system works. And so this is gonna be an educational video about tarantula blood. This in particular is really important because it can be vital for you to know this in case there are any first aid issues. Um, generally, tarantulas are pretty hardy. Um, but mistakes do happen, accidents do happen, so it's really, really important that you have a basic knowledge of how their bodies work and first aid. First thing to know, and it's probably pretty obvious, but tarantula's bodies do not work like ours. They are set up completely differently, and so is their blood. Tarantula blood is not like human blood at all. It's completely different. The most important thing to know about it is that it doesn't clot. So this is really important in first aid because unlike ours, if we get a wound or a cut or something like that, our blood, like our bodies are designed and our blood is designed to clot um, and stop the blood from flowing out. But tarantulas do not have that ability. Their blood doesn't clot. So if there is a first aid issue and your tarantula is bleeding, you need to know that their, their blood is not going to clot and that you need to be the one to stop it. Tarantulas, unlike us, have an open circulatory system and this contributes to their inability to clot. Tarantula first aid is a completely different topic and we can talk about that for hours. Um, so if you are interested in learning about how to seal a wound or um, clot your tarantula's blood for them, um, I'm gonna link to an article below that's gonna be really helpful and you can check that out. I don't wanna really cover that in this video because I just wanna talk about the blood, but that's really important if you are a new tarantula owner or are thinking about getting a tarantula or if you are an experienced tarantula owner and you've just never had to do this, definitely give that article a look through because uh, if your tarantula does happen to sustain an injury and they are bleeding out, you will need to work fast and your tarantula is relying on you to stop their blood from just bleeding out. So yes, definitely give that a look through. So not only does tarantula blood not have the inability to clot, it also is made of completely different properties. Human and mammal blood contains iron and it's red when it comes in contact with oxygen. Tarantula blood, on the other hand, contains copper and it's pretty much colorless while it's inside the tarantula's body, but when it does come in contact with oxygen, it turns like a pale blue color. And while human blood relies on hemoglobin to carry oxygen around our bodies, uh, tarantulas rely on hemocyanin, which is actually much less efficient in transporting oxygen. But considering that tarantulas are usually inactive and sit still most of their lives, that's not really an issue. So those are the basics of tarantula blood. Um, there is so much more to learn about their anatomy and their, their systems and stuff like that, but that's the basics. That is what you need to know for first aid. That's what you need to know as far as what tarantula blood looks like. And that's what you need to know about the properties that make up tarantula blood. I think the biggest takeaway from this is, um, as far as the safety of your tarantula, is to know that it does not clot and that you will need to act quickly in case they do get an injury. So not many people know that, and I hope that that's what you take away from this video. But if you have any other facts or cool things to say about tarantula blood, or if you've actually seen tarantula blood and had to um, assist your spider in mending a wound, please share your experience below. I think it's super valuable um, for tarantula owners to share these experiences on this channel particularly because we have so many beginners and newbies. So um, please do if you have any experience with this. I personally have never had the experience of mending a tarantula wound yet. So I think that this is something that I really would like to invite you guys to speak on if you have experience with it.
But anyway, guys, I hope you like that. Um, again, if you're new here and you like that and you want more tarantula facts, please subscribe. And if you want early access, you can go to my Patreon and sign up. And I will be doing more videos about tarantula anatomy and bodies in the future. So if you have any specific questions, just let me know. Um, but thank you so much for watching and I really appreciate your time. And I hope you enjoyed this and take care, guys. Bye.